Opening arguments started today in a landmark opioid trial on Long Island. It's the first opioid trial in the country heard by a jury. New York's attorney general accusing mega pharmaceutical companies of fueling an epidemic and costing lives. Here's Iowa District reporter Stacey Sager. He died in uh, destitution in a basement in winter. David Morrissey of Smithtown talking about his son William, who died at the young age of 30 after 15 years of drug addiction, half his life. Today, a landmark case here in Suffolk County, which could help regulate the opioid pipeline for years to come. At least seven companies that manufacture or distribute the drugs, now the defendants in the case in which a jury will decide penalties for the very first time. New York's attorney general banking on the fact that so many people can relate to stories like Williams. Obviously they will follow the law, they will follow the instructions of the judge, but at the end of the day I think the evidence will be overwhelming. Evidence they say that demonstrates an industry flooding the market with dangerous pills, then doing nothing to stop it as people became addicted. And what you may not realize is the problem was at its worst here on Long Island. Suffolk County ranked number one out of 62 counties in New York State for the influx of opioids. Nassau County ranked number four. Their hope? That every community can follow our lead. We think this will shut them down, and hopefully we're doing it for them as well. Distributors and manufacturers are responsible for this. They can't blame everybody else. And in fact, one of the largest defendants, Johnson & Johnson, has already avoided the trial with a last-minute settlement for $230 million. William's father just hoping the money goes where it is badly needed. We need the same level of treatment as a real disease which it is. Lawyers for the other defendants with no comments at court today. The trial expected to last several months.